now in the present session of class for IAS Economics Optional under Economics Academy, Mukherjee Nagar. We will examine the, con the concept of neutrality of money. This concept is very important and all classical and neoclassical economists had idea of difference on neutrality of money. Neutrality of money concept was first of all introduced by Hayek. Professor Hayek. Frederick Hayek in 1931. Frederick, Frederick Hayek in 1931. In 20th century, concept of neutrality of money was very much developed, discussed, applied while citing anything. We all know that money plays the role of master in capitalism and money plays the role of servant in socialism. Money is sweeter than honey in capitalist country. But in socialist country, money is just a servant to do the performance of medium of exchange. But in capitalist country, money is sweeter than honey. Every businessman want to have more and more money. But what will be the repercussion of more and more money in the economy? We have already discussed quantity theory of money. That other things remain the same. Higher the supply of money, higher will be the price rise. Higher will be the inflation. Other things remaining the same, higher the supply of money, higher will be the price level. Which means if money supply is double, then price will be double. This we all know that. In 1900, 1900, 1911, forty-five degree line, money is double, price is double. This is price level and this is quantity of money. Irwin Fisher, in his book, Purchasing power of money. Erin Fisher in his book, in his book, Purchasing Power of Money, say that. Price is directly related to yes. 
it will increase in the money supply, there will be increase in the price level. Then how can we say that money will be neutral? This value. Point of difference. In 20th century, most of the classical economists, they considered that money is neutral. It will affect only nominal variables. Write down the idea of neutral neutrality of money was given by David Hume. Frederick Hume, the French economist, German economist, and find out. French, he was perhaps German economist. Check it. Died in 
Germany in 1992. Austrian school. He belongs to Austrian school of the Congress. So, David Hume, David, David Hume is accepted as the first person who used this concept, utility of money. And for 20th century, this concept was accepted by different classical economists. But first time, in 1931, Frederick von Frederick August von Hayek, who was a supporter of liberalism, classical liberalism, and he said that money is neutral in the economy. Money serves the people. We all know that money has a function for medium, major, a standard and a store. In capitalist economy, money plays the most important role in terms of profit maximization, in terms of savings maximization, in terms of capital formation. Everywhere, the measuring rod is money. So will money be neutral? If money will be neutral, then what is the role of central bank? Central bank is there to keep watch on money supply so that there is, there is no inflation or so there is neither inflation nor deflation. So the concept of neutrality of money <coughs> was discussed by classical liberalism and its followers, mainly Frederick August von Hayek. Write down the idea of neutrality of money. The idea of neutrality of money was developed by David Hume. Thereafter, it was practiced by Frederick Hayek in a series of lectures in 1931. In a series of series of lectures on neutrality of money. through his explanation regarding prices and production. Through his explanation of prices and production. In this context, Hayek says that in this context, Hayek said that that a stock of money
in dem Christ. Bei Central Bank. And government. And government through budget. Government through budget. Is spending more and more. In the economy. For development, creation of infrastructure, for development, creation of infrastructure, invention and innovations. All these activities are possible with the supply of money. The supply of money. In the context of neutrality of money, Frederick August von Hayek Distinguished between nominal variables and real variables in the economy. What is the nominal variable? You will know it. What is the nominal variable in the economy? What is the nominal variable in the economy? Suppose in the interview. Money, money, money increases and then price increases, sir. That's called nominal variable. But price divided by wages, that was a real thing. Real wage. What is your opinion? Okay. You are right. Very well. It might be very sharp. It got the nominal term and equate money and price. We all know that higher the Supply of money higher than the price level. So the first nominal variable is price, prices. Lecture of Hayek was on prices and production to explain the money, neutrality of money. So, first, number one, write down nominal variables are. In the economy are as follows. Number one, prices. Number two, wages. Number three, exchange rates. Money supply when the stock of money right down when the stock of money increases when 
the stock of money increases, when the stock of money increases, when the stock of money increases, there will be effect upon price. Effect upon price, effect upon wages, effect upon exchange rate. All these are nominal variables. Next paragraph. Real variables in the economy. Have you said a thing? You can guess what is real variable in the economy. What is real? Price divided by wage rate. Price and wage rate that we have. Why? What is real? You want to become alive. What is the real thing which you will take? So what is the real thing you will do? So production supply, sir. What is the most necessary thing for you? Production or consumption? Yes, sir. What is the most necessary thing for you? Consumption, sir. What is consumption? That we consume, sir. So we consume that, sir. What is consumption? Consumption is consumption is destruction of utility. Consumption is destruction of utility. What is production? Creation of utility. Production is creation of utility. So nominal variables we know. Now we have to know real values. Write down. According to Vaughan, <coughs> according to Frederick, I commodity. 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 Yes, sir. Right. 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 So, real variable number one is <coughs> employment. Number two, real variable is real GDP. And third is real consumption. So in economics, we always analyze effect on real to know the true effect. What is difference between real, they say money supply, that means nominal money. Nominal money. This is wage rate. Nominal wage rate. If we write M by P, W by P, this is real. Real money. This is real wage. This is consumption. C by P is real consumption. So in the economy, 
we deal with both nominal factors and real factors. But it is real factors which is which will exist in the long run for stability in the economy. Suppose price of salt becomes 1,000 rupees per kg, then this is not India, this is Venezuela. It means you have recklessly printed notes without considering its consequences upon the economy. Consumption means you consume. Real consumption means consumption by price level. Whatever money you have, that will be spent in terms of price. Then you get goods and you will buy. According to Frederick von Hayek, The role of monetary management must be to establish neutrality of money, which means when the stock of money increased, it will affect it will affect prices, it will affect exchange rate, it will affect value rate. With no effect on employment, wages, real wages, and real consumption, then money will be servant. Money will be servant, servant to do the service of the people. W wage, if W by P is real wage, then wage rises, price will, when price rises, wage will rise. So that consumer will remain on the same indifference curve in its analysis. By substitution, you may change from A, A to B on same difference curve. What does it mean? Your real situation is constant. So what we conclude? That the objective of monetary policy, objective of monetary management, is to keep watch on the supply of money, that whether supply of money is affecting employment, supply of money is affecting employment, supply of money is affecting <coughs> wage, real wage. supply of money is affecting real consumption. If this is obtained, then it is called the neutrality of money is maintained by the monetary policy or monetary management. But this concept was criticized. It is criticism. But this concept was criticized by British economist John Maynard Keynes. Criticized by John Maynard Keynes. John? 
John Menard Kens rejected the concept of neutrality of money. Kens said that there cannot be neutrality of money in the economy, both in short run and in the long run. There cannot be neutrality of money both in short run and in long run. be faithful servant. This is the conviction of communist, leftist, socialist, economist. <coughs> 